Hello all, welcome to Serenity Gardening and Orchids. And today I will be showing you how to make a centerpiece. And I made this for my little granddaughter and great granddaughter's birthday celebration. So here's the front. It has petunias in it. And you see the little mermaid? It's a little mermaid thing. So we have the little mermaid sticker here. And look at the tail, guys. Isn't it gorgeous? And I will tell you everything you're going to need. Here's the back, still looking good. And it also has a sticker that says, thank you for splashing by. Lots of different greetings. I think it's gorgeous, guys. So let me show you what you will need first in order to make it. One moment. Okay. Of course, you will need acrylic paints. And I got them from Walmart. I already had them because I'm a crafter. Paint brushes, of course. For the tail. This beautiful tail. I actually painted them. They came three for $1.25 at the dollar store. You get three of them. And that's them plain. Something like this, and they come on this little rope. Okay, and as you can see, I did the painting myself. Okay, as I said, you're going to need acrylic paint. You're also going to need for the tail, you need some glitter. Okay, so I got the one color, this blue, ocean blue. And you're going to need some glue. So that's for the tail, guys. Now, you're going to also need, so we got the tail. Oh, you're going to need a flower. Go to your Lowe's and get some flowers. I simply put this tail on a stick. So you're going to need some bamboo sticks. You can get them from the dollar store. I put this tail on the stick and I wrapped um, felt, the felt piping. I wrapped that around the stick. Can't really see it that much because it's all the way in the pot. But and this is just a regular, I had my own pots um, already to plop down into the pots that I bought. So of course you're going to need pots. And I got these from Amazon, all different kinds of pastels. Um, so go to your Amazon store and they are like the four by six inch pots, I believe. Okay. What else will you need? Um, you could actually plant inside of these planters, but I, with the celebration not being too soon, wanted to get my own, use these own little planters that I had. This is actually a shell so that when I water, and I use these pots here, when I water, I can put it inside this little shell, and that way I don't have to worry about water spilling anywhere. And when you're finished, you just actually pop it right into your planter, like so, whatever side you want. Okay. Um, trying to make sure that I told you everything. Oh yeah, I got the ribbon. And I got this ribbon from Walmart. I got two different colors. I'm making um, 10 containers. Well, she only needed eight, but I'm going to make 10. Um, so the ribbon, I got this color and I made purple and also this um, minty green, like ocean-y color for the planters, okay. So you're going to need ribbon. What else are you going to need, guys? Um, I got these stones to put on the inside of the flower pots, but I don't think I'm gonna really need them because looking down into the pot, with the plant being so big, you can't really even see the dirt. So I'm debating whether I'll use these or not, but they're kind of cute and they were from the dollar store and I got a green and a blue for some colors. Okay, um, I think that's everything that you will need. Um, and then you just get to cutting your ribbon. 
and making bowls. And that's, I'm right, right now I'm working on bowls. So I have lots of bowls that I already made. And as I said, they're all green and purple. Okay. So I'm going to finish making bowls. And as I said, I painted the um, mermaid tails. Wrap them around the stick. I just wrapped it around the stick. And after I wrapped it around the stick, well, I glued it, of course. Let's glue the stick down onto the tail. Wrap the uh, rope around it. And also, I wrapped the uh, piping around it, just so it would look pretty. Um, that's basically it, guys. Oh, I forgot one important thing. One moment. You will need stickers. And I got the actual Little Mermaid um, emblem that you see on the front of my pot. That's one will be on the front of each pot because it's a Little Mermaid. And then these little things to say thank you. Um, thank you for celebrating with us and thank you for splashing by. So they were cute. Let me bring them up closer so you can see them. And I got them all from the Amazon store. Okay. So I think that's all you will need. And so easy to put together. It's not hard to figure out at all. You put your crowns on the front. Oh, you will need crowns. Wait. I got them from Amazon also. And they actually point heads, guys. And they come in all different colors. That's the gold. Um, you know, the mermaid thing. So I had to get them. So they come in four different colors. You can see the gold on the pot. Here is more pink. And her theme is like real purpley. So I'm gonna have a lot of purple and everything. This is pink one. Okay, and they're all the same. Here is a purple one. And I think they'll look beautiful with the pastel colors of the pots. And here's a green one. Okay. And did I say, I got some from Amazon also guys. One more go. Guys, all you have to basically do is sit down, use whatever colors you want, and just start to paint. I use four of the first scales and three for the purple, then three scales green and three scales blue. And then I simply use the turquoise color and painted the tail and added the uh, sparkly for the tail just to give it more oomph and I think it does look good this guys um so I'm going to I'm sitting outside doing most of this because it's a beautiful day and I'm going to finish finish up my tails finish painting them um you need to do the back just get a pencil and draw in what you need to draw in to make the tail. And the same thing for the fins and the back. And I didn't really do much, but it looks so cute. I did the three colors again, the blue, the green, and the purple. See? On the back. Okay. I'm going to finish up the tails. I've already finished all of my ribbons. Lies all except one. I have one more ribbon to go. And then I'm going to start working up the tails, like I said. So I'll finish the ribbon, start making the tails, and I'll be good to go. I just have to get to planting all of my different flowers, and I will show you. For now, this is a gardener's centerpiece. If you're not a gardener, you don't need to do this one. 
So I'm going to be removing some of these plants to put into the pot. One moment. Well, I see what I'm working with. Just as I thought, it may be pretty easy to get out. First one. Yes. I need for you guys to see this. So, what can I do? Down to low. I'm going to hold it up high and see what I can do, guys. I'm not trying to plant it up too high because I have some pebbles to go around the top. I have um, some blue and green pebbles just to go with the little mermaid thing. So it looks like the ocean, like they're coming up out of the ocean. So one down. Gosh, they are coming out so easily. I am thankful for that. Putting it in the pot, press down a bit, and let's put some dirt around it. I think you guys get the idea. Just simply getting it in the pot so it's nice, safe, and secure, and the roots are down in there pretty good. So tomorrow we got two. Just pulling up. I said it's a gardener's um, DIY because if you don't know what you're doing planting, these won't last. So, if you're not a gardener, find another DIY centerpiece. I think that looks good, guys. Three down. with my um, DIY pocket. One moment, please. Okay, here they all are, guys. And some of them I got out of the pot and some of them I got from other places. So there's eight of them. And I was responsible for making eight head pieces. I actually have nine flower pots. So I have to get one more from somewhere. Um, one moment and I'll show you the full effect. And here's the centerpiece in full effect. You can see the beautiful yellow flowers with the mermaid tail coming up out of the pot. That's the front. And let me turn it around so you guys can get an idea what's on the back. One moment. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? That's the back. See how pretty? You still got the mermaid tail coming out. And if you zoom in, it says Thank you for splashing by. Gorgeous! So I think that they will be a hit. And as you know, all of the planners are made. I just have to stick the pots into the planners. And one moment, let me show you this. And here it is. There's the planner, there's the pot. Okay, so I'm gonna take this back outside and um that's what it will be all of the planters are made all of the flowers are planted and i'll put each one in a pot and stick them in the pots and we have our little mermaid centerpieces aren't they gorgeous guys i'm in love i'm absolutely in love with it gorgeous i think they'll be pleased i hope they'll be pleased i'm pretty sure they will 
See how pretty, pretty, yes. Okay, thank you for joining me as always. You're blessed to be a blessing. Try and help someone today. Bye. Oh, you can also reach me on Instagram, Vanessa B. 1130. And please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Bye. We're going to be so pretty, pretty. Yes.